Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Hi everyone. Welcome to GFX Farhan. Friends, today I have brought another cool and amazing effect for you which is called energy beam effect or sci-fi beam effect or you can also call it magical beam effect. Before starting video, there is a request. Please subscribe my channel and share my videos with your friend and also like my videos because it give me confidence to bring more good and cool videos for you and guys one request more please watch the complete video for the first time because if you support me then I will bring more quality in my content let's see the result let's get started the video friends this is my character with animation I downloaded this from Mixamo. Okay, if you don't know how to import character in Houdini with animation, then there is a video on my channel how to import Mixamo character with animation in Houdini and link in the description. So, this is my character. Here, I add a geo node and add a just grid this is my floor and uh, this is my energy beam first I add a geo node and in geo node let me hide other objects Here I add a tube, okay, polygons, primitive type polygon and uh, here I animate my center and height. Basically, I animate its height. These are keyframes. around 62 63 frames from 1 to 20 and uh, I link uh, height uh, with my center in y axis divided by 2 because without that let me delete channel and let it zero now if I animate only height it give me this type of result which I don't want so what I do I copy this copy parameter and here I paste a relative reference and divided by 2 ok now it give me this type of result which I want ok clear and my rows and columns are 50-50 then I add a transform node. No goose. Okay. And with this transform node, I match this rod with my character. Okay. Then I add a normal node to add some normals. Then I add a delete node. And what this delete node do? Uh, 
ओके इट डिलीट द जियोमेट्री आफ्टर सिक्सटी टू फ्रेम्स हियर आई एड ऑपरेशन delete by expression and here i add a <coughs> dollar sign f greater than 62 which mean if my frames greater than 62 then delete this geometry so after 62 it delete my geometry okay then i add a mountain node to add some noise on my tube geometry this is my setting center 0 amplitude 0.2 noise type simplex and element size 0.5 and no animation okay then here i add a trail node for compute velocity change to compute velocity which computes velocity for adding motion blur now here i add a pyro source node and in pyro source node here i add my source to burn and uh, mood is to surface scatter okay and my particle separation is 0.02 here two attributes are added burn and temperature okay then i added a volume rasterize node my voxel size are connected with my pyro solver my particle size is 10.75 and here i add a velocity blur 0.5 shutter offset 1 and blur sample 10 which gives best quality and uh, coverage attribute density clamp normalize by clamp coverage on and also here add a attribute velocity by v and weight weighted average okay so this is my volume rasterize node and uh, here is my pyro solver in pyro solver first i copy parameter and paste relative reference here paste relative reference which means if i change my voxel size it automatically change this voxel size and uh, my simulation start after 25 frame and why add why i add 25 because my magic beam started on 25 frame okay the rest are same just i add mm, max sub step to 2 no advection reflection in bounds only treat y as close below in sourcing everything is default okay in collision everything is default in field here i check emit density from flame the settings my settings are default my cool rate are default and uh, here i flame life span is 1 in shape tab my buoyancy scale is 5 uh, ambient temperature 300 reference temperature 3000 gravity acceleration 9.8 and gravity direction here i um, by default it is minus 1 in y but i want in this direction this is my z direction so here i 
add minus 2 in my z direction and uh, this is my disturbance setting my disturbance value is 30 block base size 0 0.25 roughness 0 0.5 pulse 0 0.2 these are um, defaults only I change 30 and 0 0.25 in turbulence my turbulence value is 1.5 and swirl size 0 0.35 and the rest are default and here use control field by density okay and uh, in shredding shredding is 2 block base size and some all things are default and uh, no flame expansion and no viscosity okay this is my pyro solver setting then i add a file cache node and change this to vdb and start from 25 frame because my simulation started from 25 and end at 95 and save to disk so this is my cache version then here i add a pyro bake volume and in pyro bake volume i check my smoke density scale 10 and this is my color smoke color 0 0 in red 0 0.5 in uh, green and 1 in blue R G B and uh, in scatter node I also check scatter intensity scale 100 and also change my color to pink ok this is the color code and uh, in fire in fire tab fire also check intensity scale 10 here I click on compute range so it give me this range and also compute range click on compute range and it give me this range and this is my fire color okay this color then I add a null node and my energy beam effect is ready for rendering okay now here I add just a principal shader for my floor and this is my color ok dark color and uh, here I add a glow node but I use this glow node for my sparks these are my sparks okay so there is a there is also a spark video on my channel and link included in the description by the way these sparks I created by following the rebel way tutorial something like this you can also you can also create this type of sparks by following rebel way tutorial and i also i also created some sparks by following the rebel way tutorial and this is my floor this is my camera okay
and uh, for rendering in the output here I add two separate mantra nodes this is for sparks and this is for the beam effect okay here in rendering I use physical base rendering and uh, my pixel sample is 3 by 3 I render this in low quality because I have low spec machine this is my setting default setting okay and uh, in limit ref reflection limit 5 refraction limit 4 and uh, diffuse limit 1 uh, and only in the object here I add floor energy beam and character and uh, force mad the sparks okay and uh, here I add sparks in force objects and floor energy beam and character in force mat okay here I add two lights which is distant light and with default setting one is here and one is here okay so uh, nothing is complex and no rocket science please watch the complete video if you like the video please share it comment it and thumb up see you in the next video goodbye